What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Flower Audio Loudness Meter. So I'm going to create that Utilities Flower Audio, Flower Audio Loudness Meter. Drag that out, I did not mean to put it there. Flip the rack over. I'm going to take this master out and put it into the master the main inputs of the flower audio meter and the main outputs are going to go into these audio outputs now it's metering my beat so let's say i wanted to make a beat tape and i want all my beats to be a relative relatively similar level so i have the option to use a reference track which is what i have right here So in order to set that up, I'm just going to take this direct out and put it into these reference inputs in the Flower Audio Loudness Meter. Unsolo that. This is the beat I made. This is back to the reference. And I have a maximizer in my master section, which will allow me to compensate for how much, how much I want to boost this beat in order to get it to a similar level as this one. But aside from that, I'm going to explain more about what all these windows mean, all these boxes. So this is the main input, the beat I made. This is the reference. The algorithms are perceived in RMS. So perceive is less based on the actual level and more on your perception of it. So it doesn't take into account low frequencies but has a higher emphasis on about 1k and above the rms is pretty much the average level of the audio over time so this time window right here allows you to change how fast the meter reacts So look at it when the kick hits. So you pretty much get the idea with that. Um, you could change how fast the metering reacts. So right here, this is max peak. So this is going to tell you how far your track is from clipping. So let's get this looping around an area with some drums. Here. So I am about negative 2.3 decibels from clipping. This would be more of the average, so it'll stay around the same for a little bit longer. Negative 2.3, negative 2.5, it's different in each channel. So this is gonna be the sum of both, the average of both. Over here I have um, loudness LKFS, which is also LUFS more in America. It stands for loudness units full scale, and this type of metering is an algorithm that takes into account dynamics and frequency. So if you have a lot of bass, it's not going to make your meters go crazy. It's implemented a lot to account for classical music because we all know that classical music did not have 808s. So this helps with that discrepancy. This last window over here accounts for total. So it's going to tell you how loud it is based off what you say here. RMS will proceed. And you can switch the mode to dynamic range. This is going to tell you the difference between your peaks and the lowest points in your beat.
So that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely, let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture.